everyone, how's it going? Daniel here. So today I wanted to show you all of the colors for the Apple Watch Series 9. First off, we have the pink up here, then midnight, silver, product red, and the starlight colors. Now I've already taken them all out of the boxes so that we can get right into this. But in case if you're curious how it comes inside the boxes, well, they come boxed in the same packaging as the past couple of years. The only difference, all of them are gonna be like this, and then the product red is gonna have a special product red one, which looks kinda cool. And inside of this kinda like sleeve of sorts, you're gonna get the watch that you choose. So let's imagine the red, and then the band that you choose. Let's imagine these Nike band right here. They're gonna come bundled together like that. And depending on the watch band that you get, it could be more expensive. This does retail starting at $400 for the 41 millimeter and then 430 for the 45 millimeter. Then inside the watch band package, you'll just get the watch band in the size that you chose. So it's pretty straightforward, very simple, and uh, a very nice unboxing experience. Now, especially because every single watch is gonna get a nice little colored sleeve when you open it, which is a nice little touch. They don't need to do that, but I like when Apple does this, which is why I was so like bummed when we didn't get some cool Apple stickers that are colored with the iPhone 15s. And then of course, you're gonna get your watch charger right here no power brake, so if you don't have one, you're gonna need one. This connects to USB-C on the end, and you can see that, that it has like a really long piece of plastic. If it has that, you know that this is like a fast charger for the Apple Watch, which is really nice. And then the Product Red one specifically has like a little Product Red pamphlet there that's gonna tell you about Product Red itself. Very interesting that we got a Product Red watch this year when we didn't get a phone, but maybe that will be one of the kind of mid-year release phones, who knows? So that's gonna do it kind of for the boxes here, so let's get rid of this. That way we can take an actual look at the colors themselves. Alrighty here, so let's open these up and place them all right here so you can get a good look at all of them here. And they're all set up that way you can also see the watch faces. One of the interesting things is that it actually didn't come set up with the watch faces for each specific color. They all came with the starlight watch face, so this one right here that you see on the starlight watch. I'm not sure why because they do have the different colors for each watch on the settings, so that was quite interesting. And here we have the watch ultra to compare and then the midnight here in a slightly different band so we could see that too which is one of the new releases of bands as well now i'm going to get started with doing an overview of each color let me center this a little bit more just so it doesn't drive me crazy just so they kind of look a little bit let's go from smallest to largest here actually actually no because it's a different band just for the sake of it i'm going to have to put a normal band on this one for now while we check them out just because it's driving me crazy here on the table this is the only one without a rubber strap all right so here we have all the apple watch colors laid out right there so you can see them from a distance in order we have the pink starlight midnight silver and and product red right there also with the watch faces themselves colored to the watch now first I want to do a quick overview of the watch first of all this isn't very different to the series 8 you are gonna have some improvements namely battery all the basic things you can expect with a yearly upgrade but the most important feature here is going to be that tap feature that you can basically use two fingers to tap unfortunately I waited and Apple still has not launched that feature so I won't be able to showcase it to you all today which is a little bit of a shame, but here we have that pink series nine. And you can see right there with a blue band. I think it's the best one that complements the pink color. The pink band with the pink color, I thought was a little bit off. I checked it out in store and unfortunately, they were just two different pinks and uh, it kind of clashed a little bit together. Now, one of the things I noticed when I first put on this watch and went through the tutorial is that, that vibration and the haptic feedback in these for notifications and everything like that feels absolutely amazing and it really just vibrates in a way that none of the other watches that I've worn actually feel. So that's definitely something worth noting, feels a lot better in this one. All right, so let me go ahead and show you each watch color one by one, just so you can see them on the wrist. So first let's go ahead and start off with midnight and I switched out the bands just so you could see these instead, just kind of change it up a little bit here. That right there is midnight with a black band and the watch face that it comes with, the new one. And there you go. Looks very nice, very stealthy. That aluminum does look nice. It reflects a little bit, but it definitely doesn't have any blue hue or anything like that. It's just a very metallic kind of black looking watch. Now, second here, we have the Starlight with a Starlight band, which is one of my favorite combinations of all the watches, just period. It just looks fantastic. If you get the Starlight watch, I actually really recommend the Starlight band or the blue band that the pink watch had here. A little bit earlier it just goes really well with the tones as you can see right there big fan of that and that's how the 41 millimeter looks on my wrist my wrist is around 17 
168 cent, uh, millimeters around there just so you get an idea but yeah very nice watch right there the way it reflects it has a little bit of a goldish tone to it in some lights and some things it can look like it's pinkish in others it looks silver I just really like it. It's very versatile for sure. Now, a little less versatile than the Starlight is of course the product red, but it definitely makes a statement and very sporty and can also be seen from a mile away. One frustrating thing here is that the bands don't really match the actual color of the watch. So the pink band doesn't match the pink watch. The red here doesn't match the red watch. So I would definitely get this more with a black band for the contrast, not really go all out red like this because this is such a deep red metallic and then this red is almost going to like a pink hue or something like that. So not quite a perfect match there, but you can see it. And the pink watch, eh, I'm not really sold on it. It's my least favorite color of all of them. It's just a little bit too washed out. They had a better pink color in previous years. If you think it's the same, it's not. This is slightly lighter and it's just not my favorite thing. And it doesn't go with too many bands either. I actually found that the pink one didn't look great. The Starlight band looks fine. The blue band looks the best. That's why I ended up picking it here. It just, the contrast between blue and that just works really well. It's just not a very versatile color the way Apple designed it this time around. Now, last but not least, of course, the most versatile color or, or second most, depending on how you view it, because Midnight is also very versatile, is the silver color right here. And silver is just gonna work with absolutely anything. If you get silver, the red ring is gonna look just fine on it as well. You can see it here with this orange band. Look at that right there. I do like the way the silver bezels look on this one. And again, you could put absolutely any band that you see here on this watch and it works, but the same thing cannot be said about all the other colors. Possibly you could make an argument that for black, it would be the same case. But heck, I think even a crazy stainless steel band like this one is going to work on a watch like this, even though it has this very sporty look still. I think it works because of the silver on silver kind of look you can definitely pull this off for sure. I think from a distance, you really can't tell too much that this is aluminum here. Obviously it's matted out, but yeah, it can work with a lot of different bands. Now talking here about the aluminum that they use on the Series 9, it's worth noting that this comes like with an Ion X glass that Apple uses. So it's a very good crack resistant watch. It's not gonna be a great scratch resistant watch. The stainless steel comes with a sapphire crystal and that's gonna be much more scratch resistant for daily wear. However, if you drop it, it's not gonna be as crack resistant. So there is a trade-off. So just going to stainless steel isn't just gonna be directly a better thing to do, especially since it's also a heavier watch than the aluminum. Now, if you wanna protect your watches while also keeping them nice and stylish, well, that leads us to our sponsor for today's video, Casetify. Now, Casetify has a ton of different bands. Here we have the Impact, Bounce, and Monolink bands to show off to you. Now, their Impact bands come in a ton of different prints and colors, and they're made with recycled materials. So if you want something fun, this is going to be your go-to. However, my favorite is gonna definitely be the Bounce bands. And that is because they're actually made of a much softer rubber and a special rubber that when you're running and stuff, it's not gonna give you a kind of rubber rash that you get with some cheaper bands. It also comes in like really special kind of very Apple Watch oriented colors, but of course they're gonna work for these normal watches as well. And they have these little kind of divots here that allow the air to go through as well as the sweat to kind of run off the bands while you're running with them and sweating with them in high impact activities. And when you're doing one of those high impact activities, you can put one of their impact cases either on your Ultra or Series 9 or really any watch because they have these for absolutely all of them. This is gonna protect your watch from scuffs and scratches on the sides and everything. And even the Apple Watch version comes with one that has a screen protector. That way, if you wanna protect your screen from day one, that is a great way. I didn't have one from day one and my screen is full of scratches. Lastly, to end the day, Casetify also has some monolink bands which are made of a high quality stainless steel that looks absolutely fantastic. And it comes in a variety of colors. Here we have the normal stainless steel as well as the black one right here. And the stainless steel that they use is absolutely just a beautiful brushed stainless steel that looks great on all these watches. 
And just so you can see, we can actually go ahead and put this on the midnight watch. So you can see that you can actually dress up all these watches nicely for a night out in the town without making them look like fitness trackers. So here is that black one and it just looks absolutely stunning with that matte finish really really nice so yeah case has a ton of accessories for your new apple watch whether it's the ultra series 9 series 8 etc make sure to check out the link down below in the description caseify.com forward slash star gadgets yt for 15 percent off your order and thanks to caseify for sponsoring this video all right so now let's go ahead and take a look at all the colors a little bit closer up so that you can really see exactly how they look here so let's go ahead and pink up again pink starlight i'm gonna try to be quite careful i don't want to scratch any of the screens here the midnight silver and the red right there. So let's try to just kind of hold all these up there so you can kind of compare them for yourselves and see exactly what you like the most. Personally, I love the way that the starlight one looks. I like the cleanliness of the silver and I like the stealthiness of the black one. Now, like a couple years ago, I, I think even previous year's models, they were a little bit blue here on the midnight and this one is a lot more pitch black. It just looks really, really dark and uh, even darker than the iPhone 15 in the black color here as well. So if you compare that right there, I don't know if you can see that right now. So right there, you can kind of see the stainless steel side of the iPhone 15 versus the side of the watch in the midnight. You can see how much deeper and more like just actual midnight, right? Like the midnight sky, the watch looks like. So in case you wanted to match exactly it's not going to be quite the exact same color as the black phones that apple sells and of course not a thing like the titanium black either now of course one of the cool things there that you'll see is that every watch is going to have that accent of the color they have now we don't have any of the cellular models here but if you do get cellular you are going to get a red ring around any of these colors and that's something to keep in mind because i'm not a fan of the red ring for example around like the pink one or the starlight or really anything that doesn't contrast well. I think it goes well with these first three, but then when you begin to get into the actual colors, like the blue or the green from a couple years ago, I'm not a fan of that red ring. I know you can get stickers for it, and it's not super noticeable, but definitely something worth noting. And here, let's flip them over to the other side, and here is just gonna be that speaker on there. So nothing really special here. And then the backs, they're all gonna basically look exactly the same. The sensors don't really change based on the color that you get. You, of course, can just see the accent here around it of the color that the watch is. So nothing particularly special there. Now, if you're kind of wondering, should you get 41 millimeters or 45 millimeters? I'll show you here how they look on my wrist so you can get an idea. My wrist measures around, I think, 170 millimeters. So 17 centimeters in circumference right here. Around there, give or take a little bit from what I remember. And so just to give you an idea here, if you measure your wrist, this is how the 45 millimeter is gonna look right there. And you can see that that is kind of the perfect size for me. The smaller one is just a tiny bit too small on my wrist, just a little bit. What's crazy about the 41 millimeter though, is that it's, it's so tiny. It's quite impressive that they pack all that they do in there. Even if it's too small for your wrist, if you actually just want a fitness tracker, I would highly consider getting the smaller version just so that it doesn't weigh anything and you don't even feel it on your wrist when you're running, you know, 10, 20 miles, etc. But you can see the size difference there. Of course, once you begin to get into like text messages and everything, it is gonna be a noticeable difference because the screen and um, just the amount of text you can fit as well as the keyboard on here, it is gonna make a difference on how you type. It's gonna be a little bit harder on that 41 millimeter. And you can see it right there, even though the actual size difference isn't a lot, when you actually see it on the screen right there, it's actually quite a huge difference. Now, if we go here onto the Ultra, just so you can see that, what a larger screen even more big than the 45 or 44 millimeter is, 45, yeah, 45. And then, so here, let's go again to texts. And so there you can see the size difference, 41, 45, and 48 is the Ultra. It doesn't matter, the Ultra. And you can see the Ultra is just so easy to type on but the 45 is still quite easy. It's quite similar to the Ultra overall. The 41 definitely is much, much smaller. So if you plan on typing back a lot or anything like that, maybe it's worth getting the larger one, especially since the price difference isn't much. You're also gonna get slightly better battery life on the larger one as well. So really it's up to you, but you can see them right there to kind of make your decision. Let me remove this crazy contraption here. 
Now worth noting that the bands on the Ultra are going to work on the Apple Watch here, the 45 millimeter. And just so you can see here, let's go ahead for example and take this silver one and make it a little bit more sporty and underwater vibe-ish here with this band right here. Because I wanna talk about the fact that if you get one of these more neutral colors, you can basically put absolutely any band you could ever want on it. I think I put this one backwards. Now, as I was saying, if you get one of these neutral colors, as boring as they might be, I highly recommend it just because you can put absolutely any color band on this and it's gonna work. This one and the Midnight, anything, anything you want, your favorite color, your least favorite color, they will absolutely pull it off without an issue, especially the silver one I think matches more bands than the black one. Because regardless of the band that you put on the silver one, it might just contrast a little bit better than just the black band. However, I think they might actually just work the same, honestly. It just depends on if you want something to pop more on your wrist or less. So if you don't want to bring attention to your wrist, definitely get the Midnight. If you want a little bit more attention and more sporty vibe, then definitely get the silver. And just to kind of get crazy here, so on the red one, I put this kind of uh, beige stone looking one, and on the silver, the orange. And then black on black here looks so, so good. Look at that, it looks so stealthy. But you can kind of see the difference between a rubber black color versus how deep this black actually is. And it just all looks really, really good. So definitely keep in mind mix and matching bands when you get the color. You might instantly fall in love, for example, with the pink watch when you see it online to match your pink new phone, which by the way, it's not the same pink color at all. So if you like the pink iPhone, you might not like this pink because it's much more dull and chrome-ish than the actual kind of bubblegum pink from the iPhone 15. For example, here, this band is one of the new ones that came out from Nike, and this is for the larger watch for the silver one, but still, it gets the point across. Apple advertises this color with this band, and in person, it actually clashes quite a bit. I actually don't think that kind of works, like, really at all. I think the pink and, and just the gray nature of the band not really actually fantastic or anything, but it looked kind of good online. So that's something to keep in mind. If it's, for example, Christmas and you want it to spice it up and you want it to put a red or a green band or some combo like that on your watch, well, then it's not going to work as well either because you have a pink watch. So definitely keep that in mind. For me, it's more important to be able to kind of change the band and change the aesthetic with just that. And that's why I kind of like the watch ultras color because it's pretty neutral and you can basically put any watch band you could ever want on it and it's going to look fine no problem because the color is so neutral and it would of course be the same for the black and the silver here or the midnight and silver now the other new band here from apple that has that nike branding right here there it is and i think this is the midnight color honestly not a fan of the material and texture of it not sure i would choose these as one of my starter bands i definitely prefer my, to get my apple watches with either some of the more high-end bands or the just basically a color that I like of the actual silicone bands because for example this starlight on starlight looks absolutely fantastic it's one of my favorite combinations of watch and band and here you can see I think it just cheapens the look of the watch a little bit with these kind of styles of bands and you can get knockoffs of these quite easily so yeah I'm not the biggest fan but if you like it here it is so you can see it how it looks it has a little bit of a blue tint to it so it's not fully black but there it is right there all right so yeah there you have all the colors of the apple watch series 9 let me know what color you like the most definitely i would have to stick with my favorite actual color is the starlight the one that i would pick would probably be the silver just so that i can match it with a bunch of bands i would definitely also go for the 45 millimeter just because the 41 millimeter looks a little bit too small on my wrist that's it for this video thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one goodbye